Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser, who is not good at algorithms. Today, let's take a look at number 415 add strings. We're given two non negative integers, num1 and num2. You would need to return the num sum of them. Okay, both are valid. So, yeah, how should we do it? Well, it's pretty easy. We just follow what add is and add this add the add each digits of specific index from right to left and collect the result at the end, right? So it's pretty simple, but actually it is not that simple to write a bug-free code. Well, it, it's, it's easy, but not, not easy to write bug-free code. I need to uh, emphasize it once again. I tried a few times and I failed. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, first, we need to add, uh, create an array to collect uh, each digit, right? So we need to define how long would the, would the result be. Of course, you see that as the as the add operator, the maximum would be the longest of the length, right? There might be a carryover problem, so maximum it's one, and then there's a carryover, right? We set it to zero, so we'll traverse through right to left and the carry and the, oh sorry because the result equals we need to sum up each digits and the push the result into this array right so digit one equals num one num one dot length minus one minus i we need, I need to tra transform into a number but it might be undefined because it might be the shorter one. So we set it a default value, which is zero, and then uh, parse int uh, ten plus uh, the next digit would be the same. So, so the sum would be digit one plus digit two plus carry, and when carry is used, we need to reset it. So carry equals zero, and if sum is bigger than nine, we need to set carry back to one, right? And minus subtract sum with ten, and then finally we could set uh, the sum into the result. The length would be the same min minus 1 minus i equals sum when all of this done uh, there might be still uh, at, that as the last digit both of these two are undefined right because we plus one so if they are all undefined if the carry is still zero then this will be this might be a there leading this might be a leading zero right Check leading zero for for cases of carry b zero at the last. Well, so it's very simple. We said if the first uh, element is zero, we shift it, and then finally we return result join. Well, of course. And uh, before we submit, we review our code once more. And then it's like this, no problem, result, okay, carry, okay. Some of them up, okay, we said carry, okay. And the set carry, okay. Set the sum, uh, set the result, okay. And the leading zero check, okay, join, okay. Let's try one code, submit. Uh, cool. We are accepted. Maybe not that fast. Let's analyze the time and space complexity. The time there's a like this, right? Suppose the n, suppose this this uh, is m and this is n. So actually, it would be um, max m and n, right? 
and uh, yeah, uh, and last day is a join cost another linear time. So it's linear time. Space. Well, we use this result. So it's is this uh, array. So the space is the same. So that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.